and this is a part table part hand false cut and very easy very easy it's a full packet false cut and non fancy while you are doing any self hooking cartridge the non fancy false cuts are the most important because you don't want to catch the spectator's eyes while you are doing a false cut before any trick so i prefer you not to do any fancy false cuts before you are doing any uh, card trick especially when you are doing any self hooking card trick because it's totally dependent on the steps and not any skills uh, so i prefer to perform a non fancy false cut which i am going to teach you only one false cut today because i use this false cut all the time and uh, some of you guys actually two of you guys told in the comments that you can't nail down that false cut so i am here to explain that false cut very briefly and very and very easily because that false cut is very easy if you are, if you practice uh, almost 3 uh, to 4 days you are going to nail it down and it's very effective I, in my opinion by the way before going to the tutorial and performance there is a subscribe button down there and also there is a whole playlist of cardish tutorials and if you are interested in cuts so there is a whole playlist in cardish tutorials and also i am coming back with many cardish tutorials very soon so stay tuned for that because most of you guys subscribe this channel for cardish tutorials and i disappointed you but not for too long okay so yep yeah, uh, without any further ado let's start the tutorial okay so as you know to do a false cut you obviously the first thing you need is a pair of hands and a deck of playing cards so let's get rid of the truck case and the false cut that i'm going to teach you today is this one so yep this is the false cut as you see so as you can see this is a very fast and easy false cut to do and very smooth cut and it also convinces the spectator that the deck is completely mixed but in reality the deck is not not mixed so as you see the full deck of cards is here and i'm going to give it a cut and the fun thing is even after giving the cut i can still take out the four aces so this was the complete false cut this happened because the the cut is a complete deck full deck false cut so it's very good and effective and i'm going to break you down in few steps so it will be easy for you guys to understand because the cut has nothing much going on in with it so the first thing which you have to learn is how to do swing cut so if you are involved with cards or card history you probably know how to do a swing cut but if for the lay people who are watching this for the first time uh, there is a tutorial up there uh, up here i somewhere i posted it a while back almost 3 years back so you can learn the swing cut from there in brief the swing cut is just breaking the packet with the index finger like this and shifting this packet in the left side and gripping it with the meaty part of between the thumb and the index finger of the left hand so like this after you have swing cut the first packet you are going to grip this packet in this mechanics grip the simple standard mechanics grip and after that swiftly you break another packet and swing cut it to this packet again and now you hold the whole packet with a break with your fingers you can hold the whole packet with this four fingers break this is a very easy break as you can see I am uh, I am keeping these two packets separate with all the four fingers so it is a very easy break to nail down and after that you have one packet left only this is a three packet false cut so it will be very easy to put that the packet up here and hold the break between these two packets with the middle finger if you are comfortable then you can also use your pinky or the ring finger but i am i hold the uh, i hold the break with the middle finger and after that the trick is very easy so with these three packets in hand the spectator will feel that the packet is mixed up and the packet is not in order not because the packet looks it's not at all uh, organized but the reality is hidden beneath beneath the packet so yeah so this is how you keep the break between the three packets and after that you are just going to take the packets with your right hand's middle finger and thumb and you are going to bring this packet this was the bottom packet so you place this at the bottom then you take this packet the middle packet which was in the middle you place it on above that packet and you take the 
bottom packet or in actual the top packet and place it like this and there is another tip while you are dropping the packets you should drop the packets very sloppily i mean you should not organize the packet very perfectly because because you i i prefer you not to square the packet while you are dropping the cards because it catches the eyes and the spectator thinks that that the cut is not convincing so i prefer you to drop the packet sloppily so that it feels that the packet is unorganized and after that you have done that the packet is still completely like the same at is as it was before so yep so this was the trick guys this was the false cut and this was very easy and very convincing as you see and this is this was very easy and very convincing as you saw but while you were doing self hooking card tricks this false cuts the non fancy false cuts are very important so i prefer you to learn this false cut and uh, do this in every self hooking card trick you practice so yep and also you can variate this three packet false cut in the four packet false cut like this you just have to put another breaks with another fingers you have four fingers so you can obviously easily uh, keep four packets in order like this as you see the packet is still in order so what you have to do in case of the four packet false cut is till the third step it's completely same and with the fourth step the last packet while you are cutting the last packet you're just going to hold this packet with a thumb like this so the corners are sticking out and while you are taking this packet back it will be easy for the packet to not get mixed up with this next packet and you take that packet out the next packet out then the next packet and the final packet and still the packet is completely in order yep as you see packet is still completely in order so i think this is the one of the most useful false cuts i don't know the creator of it i am i am definitely not the creator of this cut but i practiced it for a long time that i forgot who actually created it and i went from where i it, i learned it so yep this was the trick guys this was the false cut and i hope you learned it and i hope it will be easy i hope it will be very helpful for you guys who practice self hooking card tricks so yep so thanks for watching so by the way there is a subscribe button down there uh, you are always welcome to touch it to feel it yeah there will be a playlist in the cards uh, and also if you are interested in my content and you want to support my channel then uh, you can also follow my instagram page which will be below in the description so yeah so yeah guys thanks for watching i hope you watched it i hope you learned it and thanks for watching see you in the next video and goodbye